Now let me present to you that how analytics has been applied in telecom industry for win-win. And again when I am saying win-win, how it has helped the customer and how it has helped the telecom firms. So let me first exp explain you a scenario, a case study on how to reduce churn. Churn is a big problem in telecom industry. People just keep shifting from one network provider to another, one service provider to another. How can you reduce the churn? So let's go to the root cause. What is the root cause of churn? The churn root cause of the churn is the cost. And how does the cost comes? The cost comes actually like cost has two component. One is the fixed component. Another is the huge based component. So usually the rates are like where you have fixed rental and you have per minute charge into number of minutes that you are using. For example, if you are on plan 01 and you have 200 plus 0.5 into minute, it means that if you are spending 10 minutes, you are using only 10 minutes of the call in the whole month, your expense will be 200 plus 0.5 into 10, 5, which will mean 205. Whereas if you are just using for 10 minutes, if you are in plan 02, it will be 100 plus 1 into 10, 110. So in fact, you know, this is 110, this is 205. So you are paying 905 if you are using only for 10 minutes. So if you think of plan 1 has higher fixed cost, cost but the slope is lower. Whereas plan 2 has a lower fixed cost but the slope is higher. So if someone who is not a, who uses very rarely, you know, and he is in this area, he is incurring huge cost. Similarly, if somebody is a huge, like, you know, it's a uh, frequent user of the telecom, you know, he is a regular caller, he calls here and there, and he is here, he is also incurring lot of cost. If this customer who is on a higher fixed rate shifts to the other plan, which has a lower fixed rate, but higher per minute uses, he'll save the cost because at all said and done, he is not using so often. Whereas this guy, if at all he shifts to another plan, he will save the cost. Now, what is the benefit for the customer? The customer, if at all he shifts here, he will save the money. And the customer, if he shifts from plan 1 to plan 0 to, he will save the money. What is the benefit for the firm? The firm will also reduce some churn because all said and done, the customer leaves your network, leaves your service primarily because of cost. Here, some few things you need to understand. For those who are in red circle in this area, you know, only selected few needs to be shifted into the correct plan. Why? Because if somebody who is paying from last two years, you know, and using very rarely, there is no point calling them and saying then if at all you shift to the new plan, it will save you. You know why? Because this kind of customer is pretty happy with what they have. You know, they do not want complication in life. And if at all you try to explain him too much, he might just, just leave your service, just leave your network, just because you are tr he thinks that you are intruding. So you have to understand that you need to give this kind of idea only to selected few. Those which are in blue circle, they probably are running business from home. You might suggest them that if you shift to corporate plan or business plan, it will help the customer. But actually, it helps the business also. You know how? Because the moment the person shifts to corporate plan, which is a far more, you know, probably higher on the fixed rate, but much smaller when you are trying to use it more, they start using it for more and more, you know, they start using it more frequently. So essentially the volume for the customer, for the business can increase and the volume for customer also increases because he's using it more frequently and it is helping the business as well because business is able to retain them and able to extract more business from the same customer. So that's how just by shifting customer to the right plan, you are able to save huge amount, you are able to save for the customer and that's how you are able to reduce the customer churn. Now, let me give you another scenario where analytics can be used to grow business very easily. Most often than not, 
most of the network provider have very easy very cheaper rate from within the same network so essentially if you are in the same network you are using let's say for example airtel to airtel vodafone to vodafone o2 to o2 the calls are usually cheaper so what you should what a company can do it can search which are the phone number of other networks from where they are getting too many incoming calls to their network if at all you get to know and then you ask your sales agent to suggest those phone numbers that sir you are the person who are calling into let's say you are a vodafone customer who are calling into airtel a lot or probably you are the this customer you are the customer of network provider x and you are calling a lot to the network of y if at all you shift to network of y this is the kind of saving that you can have so essentially if you are able to show the money to the customer that this much will be the saving if at all they shift to this network because all said and done they are using it a lot of calls to their internal network a number of customer will actually migrate to your network and that's how you can quickly grow the business now if you think of what is the gain for the customer customer will be able to save money and what is the gain for the business the business also has grabbed those customer of the other network provider that's how it again becomes win win now let me give you another example where the again the analytics the intelligence has helped customer has helped the firm to grow their business o2 is a mobile network provider in uk this is little old case study but let me present it to you there is some challenge on the mobile internet because all said and done the the face of the mobile the screen size of the mobile is definitely not as big as probably laptop so what is the challenge the challenge is that what should be presented you know what you can present in a quickly in a uh, simple way so that people can take it take a look so what do they do o2 usually the first time they check the preference of the customer what will you like to check if people are setting good enough if they are not setting that's also okay and then they provide initial set of content based on their proven their chosen preference if people are not putting their preference then you know it's showing the default and then it tracks that what is the customers changing preference so for example if at all let's say it's a cricket season and people starts going you know it starts definitely clicks on the cricket news it understand that in this time in this era you know probably this time of the year people are looking more for the cricket news maybe india is visiting to australia and people are looking a lot about the cricket news so it has the proprietary algorithm to understand customers changing preference or if at all customer is definitely interested in a particular news topic for example if a particular customer is all the time clicking on let's say news related with the apparel or news related with the fashion industry maybe that customer belongs to fashion industry and you know it is his typical its requirement so what it helps it provides a you know a a choice based it recommends what you should take a look based on your pattern what you, what, what you are looking at what kind of thing you are liking based on that it provides you recommendation now if i ask you how many people will like a computer to predict their preference you might think that okay you know like computer probably can predict anything and a number of customer may not like it surprisingly 97% of the user liked of the o2 liked what content was being provided by o2 so essentially the content that was being provided based on intelligence that was liked by the customer so 97% time it was able to predict that okay this is what customer is looking at or this is at least an acceptable thing for the customer so obviously how it is helping customer because it is helping customer to look at things very quickly and how it is helping the o2 mobile network it is helping because people are going for the network they are liking that this experience so they are staying in fact 
Fifty percent of the UK's total mobile network, some time back around 2012, at least this was the st status. That fifty percent of the UK's total mobile network usage was just on O2 mobile network. So that's what I mean by applying the intelligence. It is helping customer to read quickly what they should look at, and it is helping the network provider to grow their business because customer is liking, so they are coming more and more.